Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi, yes, how are teacher. you? Yes, teacher. Hi. Okay. Hi. okay. Happy to hear you and see you again. All right, let's begin. Um, just let me get started. And uh, I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. Okay, there it is. All right, uh, first things first, I'm going to call the attendance. So when you hear your name, please um, let me know. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good, good evening. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. I'm here. Thank you. Gladys Imelda Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. I have a chat entry. Alejandra Magaña says, sorry, teacher, I'm here. Okay. I'm re uh, registering your attendance. Thank you. Okay, again, Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Jasmine Vanessa. Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Present. Thank you. Josue Isaías Najaro Martinez. Josue Isaías Najaro Martinez. Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Thank you, teacher Jasmine. Present. Okay, Jasmine. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present teacher. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm just calling some names again. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguilar. Aguila, I'm sorry. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najarro Martínez. Josué Isaías Najarro. Paola María Alvarado Cerón. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Um, can, well, I have a chat entry here. Sandra says, I'm sick. Oh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, well, uh, welcome everybody. This is Inglés Pre Avanzado Módulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. This is session number 12, and today is February the 2nd of 2023. 
okay, or 2023, as you prefer. So let's begin. What are we going to do? Well, we have to do a couple of exercises that we couldn't complete last time based on the causatives, which is active causative and passive causative. And after that, we're just going to solve the rest of the unit. So what about this? Let's take a look. If the word or phrase in bold is correct, put a check mark. If it is incorrect, rewrite it correctly. Samantha says, and that was that really. Anyway, what about your new car? Tell me about that. And Amanda says, oh, what a nightmare. We had to have it repaired twice. So I'm asking you now, is this correct? Or do you need to change it? If it is correct, just tell me it's correct, teacher. But if it is not correct, you will have to give me the correct version of it. So what about this one? We had to have it repaired twice. Is this correct? Raise your hand if you have the answer, please. Is this correct or do you need to change it? We have to have it repaired. Whoa. From my opinion, it is correct. Carlos says it's that in, in his opinion, it is correct. Let's check. And yes, it is correct. Okay, you don't need to change anything. We have to have it repaired twice. Thank you, Carlos. Then Amanda says, oh no, what happened? And then Amanda said, well, we got delivered it to your house on Monday morning. By the way, there's a mistake here. It's not your house, but our house. I'm sorry. We got it delivered to our house we got delivered it, I'm sorry, to our house on Monday morning. So is this correct or do you need to change it? What do you think? Anybody can participate. Jose Luis Hernandez. I think it's incorrect because mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, we got it delivered. We got it delivered. Okay. All right. Jose Luis is right. The correct form is we got it delivered. Okay. Um, Samantha says, right. And then Amanda says, we decided to have it check immediately because it had come all the way from Europe. Is this correct or do you need to change anything? What do you think? Is this correct or do we need to change anything? Correct. It is correct, Rosa says. Well, not exactly. Okay, it's it's you need to change something. Lilian Estela. Maybe we need to change the verb check. And what is the we correct decide, form? We decided to have checked. To have it checked. You mean the Check. past the past participle? Mm -hmm. Okay. We decided to have it checked immediately because it had come all the way from Europe. Okay, that is correct. Good. Samantha says, oh, I didn't know you had them do that. Okay. So is this correct? What do you think? Okay. 
Okay. So I didn't know you had them do that. Is this correct or do you need to make any changes? Maybe it's correct. Maybe it is correct. Let's see. It is correct. I didn't know you had them do that. Okay, this is the active causative. Okay, so this sentence is actually correct. Thank you, Carlos. Then Amanda says, yeah, anyway, we have my dad to have a look at it. And he found that the engine wasn't running properly. So is this the right form? Just focus on the word in blue. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Come on. Maybe I should offer the, the words my dad, the mm -hmm. verb has, uh, have. We have my have, uh -huh. we have my dad to have a look at it. Oh, after my dad, you mean the base form. We have my dad have a look at it. Okay, that will be a way of doing it actually, and that will be correct. However, we have to look at the words in blue. Those are the ones that I want you to tell me if they are correct or incorrect. So it's all about the word in blue. The verb infinitive. To infinitive. Have, it would be have maybe. Um, not exactly. It's a bit different. Who can help us here? If we change the verb had uh, for the verb get. Okay, you're getting closer. But you cannot use just get. Because if you notice in the sentence, the verb have is in past. So then it's got. Got. That is correct. Yeah. And we got my dad to have a look at it. And he found that the engine wasn't running properly. Thank you. And uh, Amanda says, Oops, I think I made a mistake here. A big mistake, actually, because this, this line was not supposed to be here. Can you give me a second? I need to correct this. Oh, man. Wrong speaker. Okay, just let's see. This should be Amanda right here. Also right here. And also right here. And Samantha should be here. I'm sorry about that. Um, also here. And also here. OK. All right. So again, um, Samantha says, did you have the company, okay, to come to fix it? Is this correct? Mm -hmm. Is this right or is it wrong? Did you have the company to come to fix it? Is this correct? Or is it wrong? It's wrong. It is wrong, Jose Luis says. Why is it wrong? Uh, because the verb uh, must be in base form. 
Because the verb and must be in base in form. Mm -hmm. Infinitive. Okay. And why does the verb need to be in base form? Because we are using uh, have mm -hmm. and the subject. Because we're using have and the subject. So yeah, we're using the active causative with the verb have. So yeah, did you have the company come to fix it? Okay, that's the right form. Thank you, Jose Luis. Then Amanda says, well, no, not at first. We got my brother to working on it. Okay, is this right? Only the same people are participating. I want to hear the rest of you. Lilian Estela. Yeah, you cannot use infinitive and continuous at the same time. So what is the correct form? We got my brother. Working? We got my brother working on it. Not really. It's a bit different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little different. Okay, but you have you have a good idea. What, what you told me at the beginning, you can then have the ing form and the two infinitive at the same time. Not in this case. So, um, okay. Uh, thank you, Lillian. Who else can tell me? What about this one? Jenny Sanchez. We got my brother to work on it. We got my brother to work on it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Because you're using the verb get in past, which is got. And also you're mentioning the person, which is my brother. So that's active causative. You have to use to infinitive form. Thank you, Jenny. Samantha says, oh, he's very good. I bet he soon had it had had running uh had had sorry have running it smoothly by the way there's another mistake here i apologize okay that's better have run it smoothly and amanda says yes but we still had to get the company come out in the end because the fuel pump stopped working so what about this one come out is it right is this a correct form or the incorrect form what do you think Mm -hmm. Is this right? Is this wrong? What do you think? Mm -hmm. No answers, apparently. So again, Amanda says, yes, but we still had to get the company come out in the end because the fuel pump stopped working. What do you think? Uh, maybe uh, the verb com come out mm -hmm. uh, should be an infinitive. Okay. To come out. To come out. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we still had to get the company to come out in the end because the fuel pump stopped working. Okay. Very good. All right. That's nice. And the last one, Amanda says, terrible. You should get them to give you some compensation. What about this one? It's, cor it's correct. It is correct, Carlos says. And yeah, that's right. This sentence is correct. You don't need to change anything here. Okay, let's do this. 
All right, uh, there's another exercise that I want you to work on. So choose the correct options. Do you always get your hair cut or do you always get your hair to cut professionally? How often do you get it cut? So what about this? What is the correct form, cut or to cut? To cut. To cut. Do you always get your hair to cut professionally? Are you sure? Cut. It's we actually cut. cut. Okay, but why, Jenny? Because I use the verb in the, the I don't know, no, I don't know. O sea, el, el verbo en su, no en su forma original porque no usamos tú, pero no me recuerdo con el, 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 el tiempo. Okay. Okay, can Some somebody... Activity. I'm sorry? Maybe it can be activity for that reason. Mm, no, nah, not really. It should be what? Not really. But thank you for, for participating. Who can tell me? I think is cut. Mm -hmm. But because why? Because it's passive causative. It's a passive causative. That's correct. That's the, that's the answer. Do you always get your hair cut professionally? In this case, cut is not the base form of the verb. It's a past participle, okay? Remember that the past participle of the verb cut is also cut. So that's the idea, okay? Do you always get your hair cut professionally? How often do you get it cut? What about number two? Have you ever had, have you ever got a friend cut your hair? What is the correct form? Is it have or got? Got. Got. Why? Because I, I think it's a, a word, a word um, that complement the, the verb have. The verb have. So um, yeah. in, in the end, so you told me it was got, right? Okay, uh, not really, it's not got. Because this is an active causative, okay? And uh, when you're using an active causative with the verb get, or in this case in the past, got, you have to use a to infinitive. But in this case, we don't have a to infinitive. You have the base form of the verb. So what is the correct choice? Had. Is actually had. That's right. Okay. Have you ever had a friend cut your hair? Mm -hmm. What about number three? Do you have a bicycle, motorcycle, or car? Where do you get it fixed? Or where do you get it fixed? Which one is correct? Fix. Uh, which one? Is it the Fix. first one or the second one? The first one. The first one. Where do you get it fixed? Let's see. Yeah, that's right. It is the first one because this is a passive causative. Where do you get it fixed? That means you need a verb in past participle. Okay, what about number four? If you had a flat tire, una llanta pinchada, if you had a flat tire, would you get someone 
to change or would you get someone change it for you or do it yourself? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, Rosa Esmeralda. Say be for you or to is your friend. Change. Yeah. Okay. Would you get someone change it for you or do it yourself? There is a problem. The problem is the verb get. Would you get? Remember that when we use get, we don't use the base form of the verb. You have to use the to infinitive. If this is an active causative sentence, and it is an active causative sentence in question form. So what is the correct form? What is the correct form? To change. Change. Would you get someone to change, change it for you or do it yourself? Okay, thank you. Number five, do you ever take clothes to the dry cleaners? Is it expensive to get things to cleaned or to get things cleaned? What do you think? Clean him. Do you ever get someone? I'm sorry, is it expensive to get things cleaned? That is correct. Okay, because this is the passive causative, to get things cleaned. So you need a past participle. Good. And what about number six? Do you iron your own clothes? Do you, sorry, do you iron your own clothes? Do you ever get someone iron things for you or to iron things for you? What's the correct form? To iron. To iron. Do you ever get someone to iron things for you? Yeah, that's right, because this is active causative with the verb get, so you have to use the to infinitive. Thank you very much, everybody. So um, you have some possible answers right here. So but because we don't have much time, we have to move into the next section. So in this class, you will learn uh, three word phrasal verbs in order to increase your vocabulary and to help you talk about services and dating. So take a good look. What is this? Word power, three word phrasal verbs. Match each phrasal verb in these sentences with its meaning then compare with a partner, okay? Compare with a partner, so what is that? The phrasal verbs, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. So what is the meaning of break up with? You have options from A to H, which one would you choose? Raise your hand, remember, if you want to participate. This is vocabulary now. Okay, Luis Fernando. It means uh, when a couple person, uh, they don't have a relationships built with them. Okay, so... A low, a low relationships. A low relationship. Mm, so what about the meanings on the right? Which one would that be? Would it be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H? Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't understand. No problem. Uh, uh, letter B. B. Is it yes. letter B? Okay, that is correct. It is letter B. Okay, so what is the meaning of break up with? The meaning is uh, end a end romantic a relationship. Romantic. Okay, romantic. that's right. When somebody comes and tells you, okay, sorry, I break up with you. That means I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. Or if it's a lady, I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. So that's the idea when someone breaks up with you. Okay, just remember, it's always break up with. 
okay, break up with. So basically you use with, which is a preposition at the end of it. I don't know why in this case, okay, but um, let's do this. The next one, Kevin uh, came up with a great idea for our class reunion. How about this one? Kevin came up with a great idea for a class reunion. The verb is come up with, okay? Gabriela Stephanie. Letter H. Letter H. Think of something, develop an idea. Okay, let's take a look. Think of something or develop an idea. That is correct. That is the meaning of come up with something. You can come up with a plan. You can come up with a suggestion. You can come up with an idea, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, letter H, think of something, develop an idea. Good, thank you, Gabriela. Number three, I am not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. That'll be number three. What do you think? Josué Isaías. Uh, letter A. Letter A, be excited for something to happen. Let's check. That is correct. It's letter A. Thank you, Josue. He says, I am not looking forward to typing my essay. That means I am not excited for something in the future. So I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. Okay. He's going to pay a person. Thank you, Josue. What about number four? My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Astrid Michelle, what do you know? Letter E, reduce the quantity of something. That is right. Okay, it's letter E, to reduce, reduce, I'm sorry, the quantity of something. Very good. Okay, uh, Josue, do you want to try number five or do you have a question? No, okay. Uh, what about number six? Yeah. What about this? Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. What is the meaning of keep up with? Mm -hmm. Does anyone know? Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. What is the meaning of keep up with? Rosa Esmeralda and then Walter René. Um, letter, um, 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 um,
Um, Maybe someone can help Rosa or Walter René. Be responsible for something. Be responsible for something. Keep up with. No, not exactly. Is this not that one? But thank you for participating. Okay, so uh, somebody else wanted to to do this. Okay, uh, who was that? That was, I believe, Walter René. Maybe. Uh, for me, is energy, but no, no. Be responsible for something. Okay, no, not really. It's a different one. Who knows the answer to this? Alejandra Magaña and then Olivia Osorio. I think it's the letter C. Letter C, <laughs> that's right. Okay, keep up with means keep the pace with someone or something. That's the meaning of it. Mm -hmm. Seguir el ritmo, digámoslo así. Keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor, so letter, it's letter C. Keep the pace with someone or something. Mantener el mismo ritmo. That's the meaning of keep the pace, or uh, sorry, keep up with. Um, Olivia, number six. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. What do you think? Olivia? Because you're raising your hand. Yeah, little F. Letter F, have a good relationship with someone. No, I'm sorry, it's not that. What do you think? Josué Isaías. Um, letter D. Letter D, let's check. That's right, I can't keep up with the noise on my street. That means tolerate something you don't like. Okay, very good. Thank you, Josué. Number seven, my girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. What's the meaning of get along with? Who knows the answer to this? Astrid Michelle. Have a good relationship with someone. Have a good relationship with someone, letter F. That is correct. Thank you very much. Uh, good, thank you, Astrid. What about number eight, the last one? Bill can't take care of his own finances. He has an amount, he has an accountant manage his money. Rosa Esmeralda. She also developed an idea. Let's see, think of something, develop an idea. That was letter H and that's number two. So it's not possible because we're not repeating the same answers. So what is that? Who can tell me? Paola Maria? Letter G, be responsible for something. Letter G, be responsible for something. That's right, when you take care of your own business, that means you are responsible for your own business. Okay, that's the idea. All right, let's continue. Lesson objective, in this section, you will listen to a conversation about dating and see how they make suggestions. Okay, conversation, I need a date, okay? Necesito pareja, I need a date. So let's practice this, okay? Uh, for this activity, I want two boys, please. Only boys, because it's James and Mike. Who can help me read the conversation? Jose Luis, okay, you're going to play James. Now, I need someone to play Mike's part. Please. Uh -huh. Who can help me besides Jose Luis? Jose Luis is going to play James. ¿Quién, ¿Quién va a hacer el papel de Mike? Veamos. Walter René, thank you. Okay, let's read the conversation. This is so depressing. 
I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? Okay, before we continue, I haven't had a date since. That's the right pronunciation. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? And what does Mike say? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, what about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Okay, so Jose Luis. Actually, I tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Thank you. I actually, I've, I've tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Thank you. What about Mike? What does Mike say to that? Well, why don't you join an online dating service? Dating service. Why don't you join an online dating service? Ah, sorry. Uh, please continue. Okay. A friend of mine met, a friend of mine met his wife that, that way. Yeah, well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. Okay, what does James say? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so what about Mike? What did he say? Also, it might, it might be a good idea to check out those dis discussion groups at the bookstore. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. And James says? Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. If I don't meet someone, at least I might, have, I might find a good book. Okay, <laughs> so that's the conversation right there. And this is an introduction to the next piece of grammar. So by the end of this class, participants will be able to make suggestions, I'm sorry, with gerunds, infinitives, models, plus verbs and negative questions. Not very complicated. Let's take a look. This is the grammar focus. This is section 4.8. And here we are, grammar focus, making suggestions. So with gerunds, take a look. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining? So you have looking and joining our modal verbs, okay? With infinitives it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore, okay? It might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, we have a chat entry. Luis Fernando says, sorry, my Wi-Fi signal failed for a few seconds. Okay, no problem, that happens to everybody. Okay, so um, again, th that's uh, uh, with gerunds. Once again, what about, looking through the personal ads. Uh, have you thought about joining? Okay. Have you thought about joining? With infinitives, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. And one thing you could do, or sorry, one thing you could do is, okay, go, et cetera, et cetera. Now with models plus verbs, maybe you could go to that chat room on the internet. That's a suggestion. And with a negative meaning, uh, sorry, with negative questions, not negative meaning, with negative questions. Why don't you join the dating service? Mm -hmm. You can say that just like when you say in Spanish, you know, ¿Por qué no te unís a uno de esos uh, servicios para emparejar personas? Okay. That's the idea. So these are some structures you can use when you're making suggestions. Again, what about, and then the verb in ing, looking. Have you thought, uh, have you thought about, after the word about, because it's a preposition, you need to use your real name, not a pronoun. With negatives, it might be a good idea to check uh, out those discussion groups at the warehouse. One thing you could do is go, et cetera, et cetera. So with models, I believe it's a little bit easier. You just say, maybe you could go on that chat room on the internet with negative questions. Why don't you join the dating service? So that sounds like um, a negative question right there. Why don't you join a dating service? So what are we going to do right here? We have an exercise. 
we don't have much time. It's 8.45, so let's do this. Match each problem below with the best suggestion. Then write sentences using the phrases in the grammar box. Well, it's not necessary for you to write sentences. More than one answer is possible. So the problems are, how can I build self-confidence? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo puedo incrementar o lograr la confianza en mí mismo? How can I build self-confidence? And there are some suggestions. Suggestion A, cut down on color calories, letter B. Play concentration games, letter C. Participate in more social activities, letter D. Try not to get peeved about little things. Letter E is come up with a budget, and letter F, play fun activities to look forward to every week. So what do you think? Which one is that? How can I build self-confidence? Letter C. Letter C. Who said that? Jose Luis. Yeah. It is correct. Okay. How can I build self-confidence? Participate in more social activities. Okay. That will help you build your self-confidence. Thank you, Jose Luis. What about number two? What could help me be happier? Paola Maria. Plan, uh, little F, plan on exit to look forward to every week. Although that one is possible, there is another one that fits better in the blank. But thank you, Paola. What you told me is possible. Okay, sometimes people forget, you know, uh, whole packages of uh, presentation cards. But when they have a meeting, they usually don't forget. So, uh, Josue Isaias. Uh, letter D. Letter D. Try not to get peeved about little things. Okay, there you go. What is the meaning of peeved? Jenny? Furioso. Well, yeah, okay, when, when a person gets peeved, okay, that person is usually upset, angry, okay, just like Jenny said. Okay, good. What about number four? What can I do to save money? What can you tell me? What can I do to save money? What can I do to save money? Sandra Cecilia. Letter E, come, come, e, come up with a budget. Yeah, that's right. Okay, how can I save money? Or sorry, what can I do to save money? Letter E, uh, come up with a budget. Okay, what about number five? How can I improve my inventory? Gabriela Stephanie. Uh, letter B. Letter B. Okay. Yeah. Play. Uh, wait a second. Ah, uh, yeah. How can I improve my memory? I'm sorry. I, I guess I, I skipped one. How can I improve my memory? Is letter B. Play concentration games. Thank you. That is correct. And the last one. How can I get along with my roommate better? What do you think? How can I, okay, uh, get along with my roommate better? It's like we have an okay relationship, but it could be better, okay? A better relationship, a, a very good uh, friendship, et cetera, et cetera. So how can I get along with my roommate better? Remember, better is not the name of the roommate. Okay, Rosa Esmeralda. Um. I'm sorry. Play. Mm -hmm. um, play. 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 Play
for what to every week? Every week, okay. Play fun activities to look forward to every week. That is correct. Thank you, Rosa. So what is next in the list? Well, we have a reading part, improve your memory, improve your life. And that's uh, quite obviously also, okay. Um, they didn't like it very much, but I included it in, in, in it. Uh, give me a second, please. Uh, just a moment. Just give me a second. Okay, we're back. I'm sorry. Improve your memory, improve your life. Take a look. So, uh, because, well, we don't have much time. We're gonna try to read this together. Okay, have you ever been embarrassed because you forgot something important? That's uh, the starting line. What kinds of things do you have the most trouble remembering? Okay, how to improve your memory? I need a volunteer to help me read the first paragraph, please. Jenny Sanchez. Mark began to introduce the guest speaker to the audience, mm -hmm. but then paused in horror. He had forgotten <laughs> forgotten her name. He had forgotten her name. They say like, and here you have with you, um, uh, uh, sorry, what's your name? So that was a problem right there. So Mark began to introduce the guest speaker, speaker to the audience, but then paused in horror. He had forgotten her name. That's terrible. Thank you. Lillian Estela, the second one, please. Barbara healed her jewelry when she went on vacation. When she came, when she came back, she couldn't remember when she put it. Yeah, Barbara hid her jewelry when she went on vacation. When she came back, she couldn't remember where she had put it. Okay, that's a problem. She hid it so well that not even not even Barbara him, herself could find it. Okay, thank you. Gladys Imelda. Okay, um, I want you to help me read paragraph number one right here. The one that starts with perhaps. Okay. Perhaps you've had experience like this. Most people have, and what's worse, most people have resigned themselves to a life for forgetting. Most They're people, on, sorry, most people have resigned. Resigned themselves mm -hmm. to a life of forgetting. They are unaware of a simple but important fact. Memory can be that word it, it is De developed develop mm -hmm. if you'll just accept that fact this book will will show you how thank you perhaps you have experience you have you've had experiences like these um most people have and what's worse most people have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting they're unaware of a simple but important fact memory can be developed if you'll just accept that fact, this book will show you how. Astrid Michelle, number two, please. First, relax. If you are over anxious about remembering something, you will forget it. Relaxing will change your, your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Okay, thank you. Just some words, okay? Um, the pronunciation. The first one is right here. The pronunciation is enhance. Enhance. The second one is awareness. Awareness. And the last one is right here. Breaths, okay? Take a deep breath, okay? But this is plural. Usually it's in singular form, okay? So breath, this breaths, okay? 
So uh, let's read it first. Relax. If you're over anxious about remembering something, you'll forget it. Relaxing will enhance your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Thank you very much. Number three, who can help me read it? Josue Isaias. Mm -hmm. uh, second, avoid being negative. If you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad, your mm -hmm. mind will come to believe to believe it and you won't remember things. Mm -hmm. When you forget something, don't say, gee, I need to have my... Ah, sorry. I my brain know. rewired. Okay. My brain rewired. Okay. Uh, my brain rewired. Jokes like the and jokes like these are negative and will have a negative effect on you and, and you and your memory. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, second, avoid being negative. If you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad, your mind will come to believe it and you won't remember things. When you forget something, don't say, yeah, I need to have my brain rewired. Jokes like this are negative and will have a negative effect on you and your memory. Okay. So what about number four? Who can help me read this? Number four, please. Alejandra Magaña. To improve your memory, you'll need to take an active role, like mm -hmm. your body. Your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. For example, if you're learning a language, try to actively remember irregular verbs. Yeah, totally. Thank you. To improve your memory, you will need to take an active role. Like your body, your memory can be strengthened that means it can become stronger through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. For example, if you're learning a language, try to actively remember irregular verbs. Okay. It's like test your memory. Thank you, Alejandra. And the last one who can help me read it, please. The last one, then we'll do the exercise and we'll finish the class. So, Jose Luis. You may also want to make association or links between that you're trying to remember and things you already know. What you're trying example, to remember. Sorry, what you're trying to remember and things you already know. So what for, you're trying to remember and things uh, you already know. Okay. For example, if you need to... to oh, sorry. <laughs> Because I'm reading the text from a different screen. Okay, so not the main screen. For example, if you need to. For example, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a plane in your mind and notice what it has two wings. That two it wings, has two wings. Uh -huh. Two wings. Uh, how do you say? Two wings, two. Mm -hmm. Equals Twins. two. Two. Uh huh. Equals two. You are now ten times more likely to remember to take off time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jose Luis. I'm going to read it. You may also want to make associations or links between what you're thinking, to, what you're trying to remember, and things you already know. For example, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a plane in your mind and notice that it, that it has two wings. Two wings means two. You are now 10 times more likely to remember that takeoff time. So now that we have read the text, we just have an exercise and with that we'll finish. So read the article, then write the numbers of each paragraph next to its main idea. So the first one, your mind believes what you tell it. 
So be positive about your memory. What paragraph will that be? Will that be number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five? What do you think? Astrid Michelle. Yeah, maybe number three. That is correct. It is number three. Thank you, Astrid. The second one, if you train your memory actively, you will be more likely to remember things. Paola Maria. Number four. That's number four, that is correct. Thank you. Okay, the third one. Although we all forget things, there are ways to improve our memory. How about that one? Sandra Cecilia. I'm sorry? One. Number one. Correct. Although we all forget things, there are ways to improve our memory. That's correct. Thank you, Sandra. The next one, learning to mentally connect pieces of information can help you remember. Who wants to try? Uh, Jose Luis, and then we finish with Josue Isaias. Number five. Number five, you told me, I'm sorry. Number five? Yes. Did I, did I hear correctly? Yes. Okay, number five. Learning to mentally connect pieces of information can help you remember. That's number five. Thank you, Josue Isaias. Uh, sorry, uh, Jose Luis. <laughs> I thought it was Jose Isaias because you were raising your hand. Okay, the last one, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Josue, we forget things more easily when we're worried about remembering them. How about this one? Two. Number two, yeah, of course, that's the only one left. <laughs> so yeah, it's number two. We forget things more easily when we're worried, worried about remembering them. Okay, everybody, thank you. It's I believe it's time. Yeah, it is time. It's nine two. So we're going to stop the class right here. And this is the end of the presentation. And that's also the end of this unit. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your patience and all the dedication um, to your studies. I will see you on Monday. Remember, no class tomorrow. Okay, no class tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow okay. you rest. I rest too. Yes. Después de tomar mi asistencia, no estaba desde el principio. Oh. Yeah, sure. I can do that. Um, okay, Josué Isaías. There you are. Paola María. Yes. And okay. that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, están todos ahora. Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. See you on Monday. Thank you. See you on Monday. Thank you on Monday. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Good night.